What's up, UTA? Welcome to the Shorthorn After Dark, brought to you by Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Here are your top stories for May 4th, 2010. One of UTA's most celebrated alumna was recognized once again by the university. Former NASA astronaut Culpa Nachala, who died aboard Space Shuttle Columbia when it broke apart during re-entry in February 2003, was honored with a memorial in Netterman Hall. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bill Carroll, Dean of the College of Engineering here at UT Arlington. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the dedication ceremony for the Culpa Nachala display. Aspiring astronauts, science lovers, and distinguished guests were all in attendance to the unveiling of the Kalpanachala Memorial in Netherman Hall. Over 200 people were in attendance to witness Chala's husband Jean-Pierre Harrison donating artifacts to the university. Some of them include one of Chala's flight suits, photos of the first ever Indian-born woman in space, and two signs containing biographical information about Chala. Harrison says his wife wouldn't understand why a big fuss is being made about her, but would be humbled nevertheless. She'd probably think, why are you making so much fuss about me? But, I'll, but uh, she'd be happy to be a, an example or inspiration, if you might say, to other people. Okay. Uh, what do you hope for UTA students to get out of this? UTA students? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, to, what it boils down to is, if you, if you have an ambition and you will apply yourself, it's somewhat cliche to say that, but you can, uh, you can achieve the ambition. Along with the memorial, Chala has a dormitory named after her, as well as a scholarship. The semester is almost over and students are cramming for their finals and completing their final assignments. With so-called Dead Week around the corner, students can take part in a variety of things on campus to help them with their stress. Go check out the pre-exam jam at the MAC at 5.30 this Thursday. The free workout is a combination of exercises for all students. Studies show that students who exercise do better in school. The Central Library will be open 24 hours through May 14th. However, a student ID is required between the hours of midnight and 7 a.m. Let's see how some students are preparing for their finals. It's a lot of just looking over my notes and it's um, that's basically how I study. It's just I just look over my notes, try to memorize as much as I can. With math, I really work on formulas because I just that's one of my weak points. Cramming? I don't like it. I don't like it. I do it sometimes. But staying up all night that night before the exam is absolutely miserable. It's just no fun. Um, it's not it's not really smart either, because you're going in, you're gambling, you know, seeing if you can actually pass a test or not. Sometimes you lose the gamble, you, and you fail. We're working on these stories and more. Be sure to pick up a copy of the Shorthorn on racks across campus Wednesday, or log on to theshorthorn.com for extras. I'm William Johnson, and thanks for watching the Shorthorn After Dark.